Hello and welcome to Bro Duel. Today we've got Live Dismemberment, a mod for Fallout 4 that adds another strategic and gory dimension to combat in the wasteland. And we also have a couple of other mods to complete the package. The vanilla game already comes with a taste of mutilation, however this only occurs on death and there's absolutely no way to use it to your advantage during most battles. The mod aims to change that by adding dismemberment to the game which allows NPCs to lose a limb mid-battle, but still continue to fight to the best of their ability. This already applies to certain unique enemies like ghouls and robots, but the mod opens it up to nearly all humanoid creatures. Whether it's a 50 caliber bullet tearing off an arm, or an explosion blasting off a leg or two, it aims to add a brutal and satisfying new element to battle. The way the mod works is incredibly simple, as it just takes a crippling system and then adds a random chance for dismemberment. When you first install the mod you get to choose between 8 different versions, or with varying chances for dismemberment to happen. You can have it be a rare event occurring in approximately 1 in 5 times you make a crippling hit, or you can go postal and have every single crippling hit lead to a dismembered limb. The effect of a dismembered limb varies, depending on both the limb in question and in comparison to a crippled limb. For example, a crippled leg will hamper their movement speed, but a dismembered one will completely stop them, forcing them to sit on the ground. If they're holding a melee weapon, they'll essentially be disarmed, but if they're holding a firearm, they can still shoot from the ground. To solve that, simply blow off their gun arm too. From here, you can take your sweet time to decide how to take out the enemy. Switch to a rocket launcher, get some distance, and then blow them away. Or maybe you just leave them as a feast for the mole rats, or on special occasions, take out Lucille. The system also works surprisingly well for the different types of enemies you face. For example, if you shoot the gun arm off a raider, they'll simply flee in panic. But if you shoot off a mutant's gun arm, they'll charge you and beat you to death with the other one. This is just a coincidence based on how NPCs handle themselves in battle, but it works really well with the mod because that's probably how they'd react in real life, at least based on my own real life super mutant research. And of course, the mod won't affect the player character or any essential NPCs, so you don't have to worry about your followers holding onto all of their limbs. Also, as of right now, in terms of damage and extra effects, a dismembered limb is the same as a crippled one. However, the author is hoping to add extra bleeding damage and visuals, which we think will make for a nice addition. If this mod sounds like something you want to try, then you might also be interested in the Immersive Dismemberment Rate mod. This makes it so the random mutilation that occurs on death happens less often, or you can turn it off completely. That way, if you use both mods together, only the limbs you blow off during battle or the ones you shoot off the corpse will be dismembered. For even more realism, you could also add the Disable Dismemberment by Weapon mod. This lets you choose from a list of all major weapon types and disable dismemberment from any of them. So if you don't want your 10mm pistol to destroy your enemy's limbs, then you can easily disable it. Or maybe you only want dismemberment to be possible with shotguns or explosives, well then you can do that too. All in all, live dismemberment offers a more gory alternative to vanilla combat. The only real downside is that ghouls and robots lose a bit of what made them special, but for a second or third playthrough, it could be a fun way to mix things up. In terms of compatibility, you don't really have to worry as it's using a vanilla system instead of adding an entirely new one. However, it's confirmed to be incompatible with the locational damage mod, so that's something to keep in mind. To compensate for that slightly, the mod does add an optional realistic headshot damage feature. So if you're ready to tear off some limbs for your strategic advantage, then you can find everything you need down below. And as always, be sure to leave endorsements on any mod you enjoy, be sure to check out g2a.com and thanks for watching.